Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you the easiest and best way to remove and replace a sky in After Effects. So if you're excited about all that, smash that like button down there and subscribe to the channel. Now let's start. Okay, we're in After Effects. Are you in After Effects? Very good. Okay, so we're going to remove and replace the sky in four easy steps. Step one, add the extract effect to your footage. Change the channel to blue or to luminous. Most of the times it works in blue, but sometimes if it doesn't, you can try luminous as well. I'm gonna change it to blue. I'm gonna click on this one and move it left until we see the sky removed. And then I'm gonna click on the bottom one and I'm gonna bring it back uh, to the right a bit. This is basically gonna feather the selection a bit. Now, as you see, we're missing a few parts of the ground as well. We just wanna remove the sky, we don't wanna remove the ground. So now we're going to duplicate the video. And on the bottom video, we're going to remove our extract effect. Now we have the original video there. Now we're gonna create a quick and dirty mask around the ground, around the places that we want to keep. Now click on mask path and create a keyframe. I'm gonna do it in the beginning of the footage. Now I'll go to the end and I'll move the mask so it matches the ground again. And now you can see that the mask is animating. So let's go back to the top video now. Now we're gonna add key cleaner. You're gonna have to play around with these numbers. It's not gonna be the same for every footage. And now you can still see that we have a pixel left on our building and uh, on the trees here and there. So I'll add a simple choker and something like 0.7 is gonna work for me. Okay, so pretty good. Now step two. Now we're gonna duplicate the video again and we're gonna remove all the effects from it. And we're gonna add a 3D camera tracker to it. Now click on analyze and let it analyze the footage. Now select any three points from the footage and select either a camera and a no or camera and a solid. I'm gonna create a camera and a no. Now step three, import your new sky. It could be a photo or a video, it doesn't matter. And now change it to a 3D layer. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna send it back in this space. We're gonna set the position to something like 40,000. It could be more, it could be less. Just check with your footage, but as further away as you can put it, the better. Because basically our sky is super far away in the back, so we're, go we're gonna try to match that. Now that your sky is super far away, you can't see it, so we're gonna scale it. So scale it as much as you can, okay? And now that you look at the footage, can you notice what's wrong? Something's wrong, but can you notice what? Okay, so what if I flip the sky? Boom, now it's so much better, right? This is probably the most important reason why a lot of sky removals don't work. And now you know why. You have to match the lighting of your sky to your ground. Just a disclaimer, but not every sky is gonna work with your footage. Or at least you, you're gonna have to manipulate the sky a lot so you can match the lighting. Okay, and now the fourth and final step. This is really important. This is more about compositing. We match the lighting. Now we're just trying to match our original footage to the sky or the sky to the original footage. Depends on you. You can add hue and saturation, play with that. Probably you need to bring the saturation back a bit. Also add levels if the lighting doesn't match in the best way. You can also add lumetri color. On top of everything, I'm also going to add an adjustment layer and I'm going to add one of my LUTs in there. It's going to help match everything a lot better. You can download my LUTs on my website some of them are paid, some of them are free, it's up to you. Another really important skill you need to learn is how to remove moving objects from video. I've added the tutorial here. I've also added a tutorial where I explain how you can remove pimples from your face as well, <laughs> if, if that's something that excites you. If you stay till the end, then the video was helpful. So smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.